Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day. So, as I've gone over in some videos in this channel several years ago, I was happy when a right to repair bill passed in Massachusetts for automotive industry. This is November 4th of 2020. It passed by a direct ballot initiative, and immediately right after, car manufacturers sued to undo right to repair in Massachusetts, and it, I, I thought that we had a decent chance of winning, because the judge seemed to be pretty pissed off at the automakers based on some of the comments that he made. And here we are about four or five months in after that, and it says federal judge again postponed ruling in Massachusetts right to repair case, meaning no right to automotive right to repair in Massachusetts, even though this was voted on two years ago. Now, the judge is saying that this was prompted by the need to, quote, consider fully the implications of the long-anticipated decision not issued until the final day after the Supreme Court's term yesterday in West Virginia versus the EPA, as well as unforeseen and unforeseeable scheduling complications encountered in the past several weeks coming upon the extended holiday weekend. Uh, again, this is the, uh, cl the thing where the EPA can't make power plants, which is the sustainable energy, under the Clean Air Act, but can still regulate greenhouse gas emissions. What this has to do with this particular thing, I have no idea. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a judge. But one thing that is clear is that regardless of the Supreme Court's decision with the EPA versus West Virginia, this has been really just kind of dragging along for a long time before that, and sadly will likely drag along for a long time into the future, because this is how this works. The Automakers have a lot of money to waste a lot of time in court to ensure that this does not pass until 2037 or 2050, by which time it doesn't matter because all the independent mechanics will be out of business. And now, a lot of people have asked, why do I seem to be so pessimistic when it comes to the auto, when it comes to the consumer electronics right to repair bill that was passed in New York? Don't get me wrong. I will be happy that we got a symbolic victory. But at this point in time, I'm realistic. I'm honest with myself. I run a business in the repair industry. I speak to other repair shop owners, and I'm not going to bullshit myself. It's cool to have a symbolic victory. That law doesn't go into effect until summer of next year. And, yeah, Apple, Microsoft, Google, something tells me that they're not going to take that uh, sitting down. They're probably going to fight it in court, as are the automotive manufacturers. And they've got a lot more money than the automotive manufacturers. So who knows? Maybe it'll be 2026 when that law goes into effect. 2037, 2080, 2050 was Hawaii's number when they were debating uh, at what point to actually consider a bill. I'm not kidding. I'll leave a link down below for that. I want to be honest with myself. It's not about being pessimistic. It's about being realistic about the way the system works. I see these bills getting passed as a piece of leverage when we are negotiating with manufacturers to be seen as legitimate human beings that are not idiots, that have the actual ability to work on their products in order to have in work towards a collaborative relationship with them rather than an antagonistic relationship with them. They are leverage, but at this point in time, that is what they are. Once somebody can actually buy a schematic, buy a board view, buy chips, buy screens at affordable prices, and all of these things, then I will consider the piece of legislation to have won. Until then, it is a symbolic victory, not a full victory. And the reason that I am very careful to not call something a full victory while it is simply a symbolic victory is because it disenfranchises and just destroys the morale of everybody who's actually watching. If you pat yourself on the back because you got your symbolic win while they're still sitting there having to go to fucking Venafix every day and hit control F5 to wait to see if they got a schematic for a device that's sitting there in, in their queue, that's not really a win, is it? And it's important to be honest with yourself about where you are so that you do not destroy the morale of the people that are watching you, that are rooting for you, that are trying to work in the trenches alongside you, because it kind of separates. Again, if you take your victory before they've actually gotten anything that's useful to them, it cr creates this little bit of resentment, and I, I don't want that to happen. And again, at the end of the day, once we get access to what we need to have access to, I will be happy. Before that, it's just a piece of paper. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.